Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are kindly, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box down below. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. So Pisces, I'm starting off with a past life card, okay? All right, so we got the snake, healing, and health. The snake is a sign of hospitals and healing. So you could be a, a healer in your past life. All right, so these are the two that I wanted. All right, so um, we got a healer here and we have a monk or a nun. So somebody that was involved in religion. Um, the snake also gives me like your pathway. Your pathway may have been always unconventional. So you may have been like a herbalist or somebody that was like a doula or somebody that was like a, they would call you a witch basically because you were the people that they went to. You would be like the doctors and that type of thing back then. You were the ones that helped people um, when they needed, when they were sick. So some type of way you were into the unconventional is what they would say. Health and holistic healing, which is now, but back then you got burned for it at the stake, okay? So you may have been a little witchy in your previous lifetime or warlock in your previous lifetime because men were the same. Also, it's giving me the stack, the rod, um from the bible who was that i don't know why my mind can't think because when he turned the rod into a snake but it's also giving me aladdin and jafar so it could be something from egypt okay that type of vibe but the snake being there your pathway wasn't a straight and narrow one you had twists and turns and maybe a little bit of difficulty in your life also this could be insisting that you may have had health problems in your previous lifetime and so you need to take very good care of yourself in this type lifetime all right so being a monk or a nun, you were like some form of religious, I want to say fanatic, because I don't know why you're giving me like uh, the Knights of the Templar type of vibe. Those types of monks or nuns, but it, it could have also been like uh, monks or nuns, higher hills, mountains, uh, Tibetan, Tibetan monks somebody that was very spiritual very plugged in so again you would be considered unconventional because you may have had higher knowledge um and even back then they were like uh scribes because they were the ones that were in charge of the books they were the ones that were writing the books because they were trusted so definitely some form of higher both of these basically would be some type of higher uh higher knowledge because how did the healers back then know that this tree root or this would do that um to heal you in a form or fashion monks or nuns monks and nuns also tap into like the same type of healing but they do it on a spiritual level as well so theirs are like because they connect to like their their soul and um you know like monks some of them are very tapped into their body like the pain and this that and the third so kind of giving the same vibe but different different scenarios all right you got a golden mirror here self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and somebody love bombing you um and but for some reason it's giving me mirror mirror on the wall who's the baddest of them all i'm the baddest bitch out here okay so, like, you looking into the mirror and you saying, I don't give a fuck what this person did, how they did it. Um, I know who I am. And you basically healing past that because that's what it's giving me. A one-sided relationship, unrequited love, somebody that didn't love somebody back. But either way, you got past that. But maybe this person now in your energy, you know they're a narcissist. They come off as a narcissist. Um you ran away you're gone and now they want you back so now i'm gonna do everything that you like in order to get you back so that way i can treat you the same damn way i treated you before you left okay either way i'm getting the vibe of that's over that's done kaput i'm finished finito with you and good luck goodbye
All right, so we got uh, Poe here. Time for change. Time to learn something new using technology and gadgets with wisdom. Um, again, a past life thing, because time to learn something new with learning gadgets and uh, use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So being smart about how you use your technology, your, your smartphones, your laptops, your computers. Um, so there's an upgrade happening. And it's basically saying like, um, okay, so if you're a person that writes books and, you know, things of that nature, you do creative stuff. How do you become more efficient and faster in these, in your learning? Like, so if you got to do research and, you know, some other stuff, you're using the internet, um, you're tapping into your resources, getting the stuff faster because before you people would have to go to the library but right now you can actually access a lot of stuff right via the internet um but either way they're saying that it's time for you to do something that you were already told to do um that you should have been done um because this seems like a project you were already working on but they're saying you have done I guess whatever you could have done in that arena and now it's time to step it up a notch. So now it's time to use technology and gadgets. It's time to go past what you've already learned or what you've already done. So maybe online, uh, if you've been selling stuff from your house or, you know, something like that, it's now time to get into the World Wide Web to be able to expand your borders. Because I told y'all this morning, the reading is going past the United States. You're going abroad and having the foresight and the knowledge to know that like um i kept getting um port vibes like ports ship stuff internationally internationally so stuff that um so you being a part of that flow now it's time for you to figure out how to tap in and how to move forward because y'all got money like y'all got money that is what i feel y'all got money um, you just haven't tapped into the full potential of everything that you are supposed to have yet. All right, so we have Fiona and a unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. Having foresight and vision to know that this is it. Like, you know, you can feel that there's a blessing for you. You just don't know how to go about really getting it and receiving it. So that using technology technology could also be just putting it out into the universe that i need to know what my next steps is and then letting your phone because for some reason y'all already know once you think of your phone for some reason does this thing it taps right in and it starts doing going to where it needs to go so all you got to do is put it out into the universe and start researching certain things pertaining to what it is that you are thinking about or what it is that you're trying to do um fiona and the unicorn a gift of sacred sacred sight also having a pure heart uh, only a pure heart can see a unicorn so you are unique in that aspect because it's like God is definitely going to bless you for being that very innocent. Um, so using your gifts and your talents. Okay. That's important. We have seduction here, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So you're definitely bringing in some type of attraction or you're, you're very attractive and so people looking at you, people paying attention to you, wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. So um, people have their eye on you. And you may be doing a little flirting here and there, or that somebody doing a little flirting with you, you may be ignoring their advances because all things point to right now, you could be ignoring. Um, but getting a little itch. So, you know, sometimes there's like, okay, well, that person, somebody might strike your attention and, you know, you, you start to pay attention. But then there's other people around saying, oh, I wouldn't date this person because this person is just in a third. So third party interference could be friends, family, co-workers. It doesn't necessarily have to be some type of cheating. But here, I feel like there could potentially be somebody cheating. So somebody acting a little, you know, different when they're not in your presence. They're not all the way in yet. So we have the Phoenix here, a new phase, rekindling, renewed transformation, growth, change, a changed mind so more healing more health um getting to know tapping into your your dna what works for you as far as what's going to make your body look the best what's going to make you achieve the best results for your body and for your performance and for you to be able to continue on in the next 50 
60, 70 years, you know what I mean, on into life. People lived a lot longer back in the day, like 600, 700 years. Um, people living, there's people living past 100 now, so take care of your body, health is wealth. We have an engagement ring here, partnerships, commitments, eternity, competence, we uh, a completion. I don't know why I said competition. So somebody may have been in competition for your the the give you this ring, or you may be in competition for you know somebody. But I don't feel it. Um. So I don't know why I said that. So that may be an underlying thing because it's always somebody, somebody always under under the the sea, <laughs> under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Okay. So. Something, he said something, and he said something is better. Take it from me, but remember also somebody was hoarding. So this might be an antique ring. I think the the mermaids collect shiny things. So that might be why that's there. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so maybe an antique ring somebody has. Either way, um, engagements and partnerships, that's something that's coming together. Engagement rings are also like what you give to a person when you want to when you want to marry them. So it's the gift that you give beforehand before the wedding ring. So maybe somebody wanting to give you a gift, but a completion because it's the complete circle. So you may have come full circle in your in this lifetime, and now it's like um, you have done all the things you needed to do. So it's like excited and being rewarded for completing your assignment, your assignment that you were issued when you got here. So now it's like you did all the work for your assignment and now you're released to do whatever it is you want to do. So, but also remember, cause you're creating karma, you know, as you go. So making sure that you walk your walk, you are really the person that you say you are and paying attention because you could end up in some bullshit. Okay. So we have the Grim Reaper here. The relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. Um, so with all these things being together, somebody's marriage or somebody's relationship is totally coming to an end. Somebody didn't even make it to marriage. Um, you might've got the ring, but you changed in the process because you realized this is not what you wanted. This ain't that, okay? So this was totally not that. And it just ended. But it was the best thing that could have happened to you because now wish fulfillment still being here, you can now say or do whatever it is that you want to do. You can expand your life and change it for whatever it is that you want. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, nurturing, practical, supportive, reliable, and being able to pro provide for yourself financially. Um, a working parent, but also security in your life. So building your foundation. Focus on your home, your family, your success, and your abundance. All right, And making sure that that is um in alignment with all the things that you want or putting it into alignment and making sure that you're setting it up the way that you want to so we also have the hangman here oh that was a queen of pentacles just so you know so you having your own and um what is that song is that he she got her own miss independent to the fullest whoever that person is so being miss independent or mr independent but either way just being independent independent to the fullest so looking at the world from a different perspective so this person's upside down but this is also giving me what i told y'all the other day like your blood circulating so healing um so um what's that like an inversion table so being upside down so getting your blood to circulate through your body that's also giving me this thing, being full circle, health, wealth, health is wealth. Um, so a pause, a surrender, letting go. That is for some reason making me think like, um, you know how like when you release the stress and all that, everything starts to go, come into your body, everything starts to flow into alignment. So letting go and letting God, having a new perspective, being enlightened about situations that you were questioning or that you needed to know the answer to um that gives me meditation vibes so the things coming from within you having the keys and the answer accepting the situation having deep insight sacrificing something sacrificing means letting something go um also change and release in your energy y'all give me one second because this is my son hey rj i'm in the middle of a reading you okay Huh? Um, I didn't. Why are you coming over? 
Okay, can you check my uh, P.O. box, please? All right, thank you. Love you. Bye. Okay, um, so I want to pull some of these cards as well. Something about down south is significant or important. Um, music is in my DNA and music is therapy. So somebody likes listening to music. All right, and y'all could be getting um, downloads via music. So that door is open. So there's a door that has been open for you. All you have to do is walk through it, okay? Um, somebody thinks sex is spiritual. So sacred, basically. So something about a football player or an NBA player. Um, and also, I would like the one I would like to say football, um, because I thought about it after the other reading. That's also soccer, because in different countries, they call football, which would be, you know, the difference in the balls. Um, in America, it is the brown ball and in other countries, you know, and it's done different. You if football here, you're throwing it over your head, like, you know, with your hands over your head. Football in other countries, you're kicking it. So, the difference in that. So, there is definitely some type of a, a difference in either the thought or mm, the cultures, the way, the way it's done. So, something about a top floor is important. The top floor of a penthouse or the rooftop is significant or important, which I don't know why is giving me like a flight in Mile High Club, like somebody, because sex is spiritual, somebody's having, sending you sexual thoughts, all right? Um, to me, you are perfect. So, somebody doesn't care. You might care about your body or, you know, something that you, something physical you care about. This person is saying they don't care about that. To you, to them, they are perfect. Or you might be telling somebody that. Um, magic is in my DNA. You are a magical being. Um, something about red wine and champagne is significant or important. Somebody is crafting a life, crafting your life the way you envision it. All right. There's a mini mansion here or a single family home. So somebody may want to move with you um, and, or live with you. Somebody may have a Toyota, a Honda, a Kia, or an Infinity here. Um, something about ceremonial magic is important ritual magic um i feel the need the science and art of causing change to occur with conformity and will so like having the willpower to manifest something and bring it into a reality so at this point spells the power of life and death is in the tongue so even you talking is creating some type of magic all right Somebody is receiving bad karma for something that they did to you something that they said to you or some type of energy that they threw at you that was unwarranted okay so affirmation i embrace pleasure and abundance all right um we have healing each other so you have somebody that wants to heal with you and health was the first thing so that's like y'all swapping energy in order for it to create like the most symmetrical is what the word that they're telling me so symmetrical type of environment for you and them so the bringing things into balance is what i'm getting something about a nissan a mazda a jeep or a subaru is important or significant somebody may be building their dream house and somebody saying oh you're always kind to strangers so they love that about you building your dream house and also somebody wanting to live with you so this person could potentially want to build your dream house for you or you yourself building your own dream house. Um, somebody saying you're better off without them. So whoever the person is that was in your past, that is in your energy, you're better off without them. Somebody is famous out here. So there could be a person that is in the limelight in your energy or somebody low key famous. So that might be somebody that, you know, maybe everybody don't know them yet, but they are famous in their area or um, in their neck of the woods. Okay. Um, something about somebody was sleeping on you and thank you for challenging them. So somebody's glad that you pushed them in a way that helps them become a better person. Um, somebody's saying, I'm going to see you today and somebody wants to be with you 24 seven, something about real estate here and an engineer. So the real estate, uh, building a house and a mini mansion is giving me like somebody has either you're manifesting your dream house or you're building you're already the in the energy of your dream house so something about celebrity status here so again confirmation somebody must be in a limelight or this is basically you 
on your way to celebrity status because it's confirmation they're famous and celebrity status somebody saying i'll do anything to make you smile so somebody wants to push you maybe in that direction as well so that's giving me like a definitely healing type energy um again there's a circle here so because it was like a big fat zero so i'm not saying somebody's a big fat zero so somebody again trying to play in your energy um but that's neither here nor there somebody is is having a lack of sleep and something about harry potter okay so let's see this so we got a couple of cards right here Somebody saying I can't wake up. I can't wait to wake up next to you. We have a rapper out here, a hit maker, um, or an MC. So somebody that is in the rap industry again. So that could be why somebody's famous, or you're trying to become that. So maybe you're on the on the road on the road to riches and diamond rings. All right. So somebody's between the age of 45 and 54, um, and you've been getting a lack of sleep. Um, somebody something about Harry Potter. So that's like magical. Think bigger. So whatever it is that you thought of when I said Harry Potter, think bigger. All right. That's what they're saying. Think bigger. All right. So Saturday is important or significant. Somebody is totally infatuated with you. Um, somebody thinks you're cut from a different cloth um, and they want you to be their partner in crime. Um, some, somebody's doing mirror magic because remember I said standing in the mirror this card right here golden mirror 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 on the wall who's the baddest of them all bitch it's me so mirror magic doing affirmations talking to yourself bringing things into fruition okay um, loving yourself so somebody wants to be your homie lover friend um, and it's just you and them together forever you and them against the world um, somebody is in your energy saying somebody has no accountability for one but what they're saying is you made me treat you that way so they're blaming you we talked about a narcissist energy and they're here so somebody blaming you for how they treated you um this i keep telling y'all something global something global happening on a grander scale so you got to think globally and something about the united states so maybe somebody abroad wants to come over here to the united states or you being in the united states going somewhere else but either way this is like global interaction transportation and things happening i'm gonna get you a couple more cards right here all right that's one but they clearly wanted to come out all right so uh five of cups here um feel your grief but know that all things will get better so whatever you have gone through accept it whether it be loss or sorrow you so somebody may you may be grieving somebody so um somebody may have passed away you may be grieving a uh, passed over loved one you also could be grieving a relationship that is now over, but just knowing that it's okay for you to feel whatever it is you feel, but let it go, find some peace, move on. It's like self-forgiveness in the process. So you can't stop. You can't go back to yesterday. That's over. So living in the moment, yes, and feeling the, the feeling, but knowing that, you have to get out of that energy. You still got to push forward. Okay, so the world being here, it's a level up happening. Completion, accomplishments, wholeness, attainment, fulfillment, travel, a celebration of life. So um, you have arrived to this point. Um, everything you have worked for is coming together. So starting to see the plan play itself out. All right, so we have... Uh, the will of fortune here which is always great um wherever you are right now the will is going to change i can tell you that just be mindful of the things that you do so the will of fortune is karma whatever doesn't kill you has made you stronger so whatever you have gone through you didn't die you still here and even if you died you, you got revived so you you back on on track you back on test and it's time to you know move in the right direction so the will of fortune also changing your fate because as you see all the little you see how they got the contracts and you know all the stuff that they're putting into play um so where you are right now so somebody's getting their contract redone i don't know if you can see that everybody's which way am i going this way this way okay so everybody has their pen and paper out they're under negotiation so right now you're in negotiations where's the next phase but also if you see there's also a snake there okay so more healing more progress but also saying that 
snakes are venomous. They'll kill you. So there's somebody that is, you know, they tell you cut your grass because, you know, you got to cut your grass so you can see the snakes. That means somebody trying to sneak up on you and this this could be fatal, okay? So going into the next phase, healing yourself but also paying attention because this shit could be fatal. Somebody lurking or a situation lurking that definitely is still trying to take you out because people don't like the fact that you are moving along as smoothly as you're moving because they don't know that there's been turmoil and things happening. All they see is why is Pisces able to just float like a butterfly on through life and they look so pretty and they don't realize you didn't got stuck in a cocoon. You was ugly, the ugly little duckling. You had to do this. You had to do that. Like all the things that it took for you to get here. They saw none of that. They just saw the beautiful butterfly come out and you got all the pretty colors and you got all the pretty spots and you just seem to be floating along, living your life. No, I got fucked up to get here. <laughs> like, literally, I, I got fucked up. That's how I got here. Um, I had to love myself and, you know, change. But it's so many turns and twists that it took for you to get to the phase that you're at now, but nobody saw that. Um, so taking your time to think before you act. Page of Swords energy here, new ideas, curiosity, uh, th alert, thirst for knowledge, restlessness, spying, news, information, messages, contracts, and negotiations. And I tell y'all already with this card, y'all got contracts. So definitely new contracts. It's about you have to make a choice. What do you want to take? There's, there could be several contracts that you're allowed to take, depending upon what they are and what they're for. Now, you can't take on, well, the, look, I can't even say that because I was going to say you can't take on two wedding rings, but I'm Muslims right now. So guess what? In this culture, you can take on two, two wedding rings. So it can be, you know, at this point, it's like limitless. It just depends on what you feel and how it is that you, uh, how you want to live your life, how you want to conduct yourself. Okay, that's important. So you have contracts, you have to figure out which ones you want. And also, like I said, read between the lines, get a lawyer and also read the fine print. Okay. So make sure that you're protecting yourself on every angle. So whatever this is, and for some reason, I'm inclined to think about the, the rapper part. So if you are a rapper, make sure you're getting the, the entertainment lawyers and the people that you need to put everything to make sure that your, your transition goes flawlessly. Because people get caught up and stuck in stuff that, why would you want to, you know, put yourself in that predicament? You get there because you want to express your music. So, and somebody, oh, that, that definitely says that because somebody, it said music was in my DNA and then there's a rapper there. So somebody that sings or somebody that's in the entertainment industry is definitely in my in energy. And why do I feel like there is a lawyer somewhere around here too? Either way, whoever y'all are. If you're about to sign a deal, make sure that you have the right representation is all I have to say, okay? And send me tickets to whatever, you know, concerts and stuff you go on. Because, you know, since I'm your uh, advisor <laughs> and counselor here, <laughs> send me some tickets, please. I would love to see you. Thank you. All right. So then we have the Four of Cups here. So maybe there's some stuff that you're not willing to take, you're not willing to accept, or you're focused on something and you just don't like what's being offered, period. Um, but divine is saying there's another way. Maybe you should go independent or maybe you should just pay attention to what they're saying. So it don't even have to have nothing to do with music. It just, that just popped in my brain because there, there were so many things pertaining to music here, whatever it is that you do creative. But for some reason, I'm feeling like your past life is important. Um, and it's like, you need to, for some reason, I'm getting Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing. Cause they was like, uh, the ninjas or the what do you call it the the shaman so somebody might be a shaman here so you're giving me shaman vibes but apparently you so you could have been a shaman in your previous life or you could be a shaman now but either way music is how you do it because i'm getting like frequency and sound bowls and things of that nature all right so um meditation so tapping into your higher self you already know about all this contemplation apathy revelation things coming to you so all the answers again are within you so whatever you're considering you're going to get the answer through meditation all right um so restlessness here discontented and bored so you're bored with whatever you're looking at maybe tired of seeing the same bitches 
tired of seeing the same people, tired of seeing the same food, tired of seeing, just tired of seeing it, just tired, because <laughs> I'm tired of the, the actions of these karmics, okay, so I get it, but God is telling you to look at what he's offering, there's something that you're not focused on, because you're so, like, hell-bent on, this is what I'm, this is what I'm being given, I don't like any of that, well, there's something else, there's more, okay, so think bigger, there's more, be careful that your focus doesn't close you off to new ideas so there's more so meditate on it think about it and just understand that you are where you're supposed to be at this point in time pay attention because there's an energy that is underlying that is definitely so in confusion um because again there's third-party interference so there's people that is talking about situations that they shouldn't be talking about and offering their two cents in places that it's not needed nobody asked you so, Pisces, this is the reading. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.